What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and I got a special treat for you dudes today. Now let me give you a little bit of background history. In Pokemon X and Y, there were some tracks that were unreleased in the original soundtrack release that came out on iTunes, I believe, like maybe a few weeks ago. Now, one of these mysterious unreleased tracks is called the Pokemon X and Y WCS Finals versus the World Champion. Now, in Black and White 2, there was the whole World Championship thing where you go against Red as the final opponent, but in X and Y, there was nothing like that. However, this track exists in the game. Now, of course, I haven't heard it yet, you know, I'm saving all my first time reactions for you guys on camera, but this is basically a track which never came out. It's hidden inside the game's code. You never encounter the track anywhere in the game, which currently exists, that is. You know, this could be something released in the future. Most likely, it's going to be something for the World Championships that are being held by Nintendo. Um, I don't know when they're being held exactly, but it's coming out. They're, they're going to happen soon, so this is probably going to play then. But this track is hidden inside of the game. So what we are going to do today is listen to this unreleased hidden track and um, see just how hype it is. You know, I love the World Champion theme from Black and White 2. It, it was one of the most hyped songs I've ever heard in Pokemon. So this one should be equally, if not way better, just because the instruments in X and Y are pretty much full instruments thanks to the um, the hardware capabilities of the 3DS. So. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hyped behind this. And if you dudes are music fiends like I am when it comes to Pokemon, you guys should be excited too. A hidden, unreleased track in X and Y. I'm down, baby. So, let's see what this is going to sound like. Okay. Oh, shit. This sounds like the Shofu shit. I heard this before somewhere. Did I hear this before somewhere? No, I didn't hear this, but I heard something like it. Yeah, I, it sounds extremely familiar to me. What is this? That's his Gary's thing! Singers, though. It could have put opera singers in this bitch. That. This shit is real. Yo, this song is real. Why wasn't this released? This is red. Woo. This is red and blue's champion theme. This is serious. This, this is oh my god, man. you not. Dude, you just witnessed me listening to one of the best songs ever composed in Pokemon history. My god, I didn't think it would be that real. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, since I am, you know, 24 years old, I come, I come from the generation of Red and Blue version, even though I'm not a Gen 1-er, but you know, Red and Blue was the first Pokemon game that I ever played. That is the champion theme for when you fight Gary, aka, you know, Blue, and that was like a remake of it in X and Y um, instruments. This song is in X and Y, you just can't access it anyway. It's hidden in the game for some reason. So, could you possibly fight Gary in X and Y? Maybe that'll be a future event or something like that, but it doesn't explain. <sighs> oh man. Yo, that was real. That shit was real. That's the best Pokemon theme I think I've ever heard in my life. They remade that. I think the only Pokemon themes that I probably have heard that come close to that are maybe 
Ho-Oh Steam from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You know, Ho-Oh Steam in those games was amazing. Like, it had the whole Japanese instrument kind of thing. But this one, I've never heard Gary Steam remade so perfectly because, you know, those instruments, like I keep saying, in X and Y, you can't sleep on them instruments, baby. They can remake any single Pokemon song in the history of the games and turn it into one of the badass, one of the most badass themes you've ever heard in your life. And that's what they did here. That theme, you know, I guess you could say it's a lot of nostalgia that gives me such a rush when I listen to that theme because I can remember when I was eight years old and I first went against Gary and he sent out that Pidgeot, you know, I remember those memories like they happened yesterday. Like just, you know, how the brain kind of just picks out certain things to kind of imprint on you for the rest of your life. That was one of them, you know, and you know, the whole I am the strongest Pokemon trainer in the world and then the screen flashes and oh my God though. But yeah, that, oh shit. I don't know where you hear that theme in X and Y, but you know, hopefully there'll be an answer soon. That's something that that's something amazing right there. But um anyways, let me know what you guys think of this amazing track that's hidden inside of X and Y that we never got to hear. And um yeah, if you want a ranking from me, I'm gonna give this a fucking two million out of ten. That that was the I think that was the best Pokemon theme I've ever heard yet to this date, you know? That's kind of a big claim to make, but I can honestly say that. Have you ever seen me get that hype on a fucking video before? That was real. <laughs> like, that was so damn real. You know, ah, damn. But all right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave your thoughts on this theme. It, it blew me away. It, it totally, I didn't expect that. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.